Hello friends. Today let's talk about uh, one of the important topic when it comes to academia, which is academic degrees. Academic degrees are in different forms and they differ uh, depending on the country you find yourself and the institution you find yourself. But basically, we have five different types of academic degrees. And they are associate degrees, undergraduate degrees, master's degree, uh, doctorate degree, and professional degrees. Associate degrees are normally two years course post-secondary school education. In many countries, uh, people are given this kind of uh, degree, either a diploma or higher national diploma or associate degree. And mostly is kind of technical uh, education, for example, vocational education. And some of the institutions that provide these kind of degrees are, for example, colleges and uh, in some, univers some universities, some private universities and polytechnics. Most of the degrees, as we say, are somehow technical. And a person with this associate degree can sometimes enroll himself in a four-year undergraduate degree where the person might start from second year or the third year, depending on uh, the country specific. Let's move to the second type of degree, which is the undergraduate degree. The undergraduate degree is typically four years degree. And... Uh, uh, universities and some polytechnics are those giving the undergraduate uh, education and most of these education are purely theoretical learning with some level of practicals at the end uh, near to the end or the uh, eighth semester students in undergraduate education are given some topic uh, to introduce them to research a topic where they do some kind of small theses or we say uh, projects and they defend this project. In some universities, there is no need for such project and they end uh, with a degree which we call the undergraduate degree, the honorary degree, and that is for the four year education. When we come to the after the four years education if somebody want to go deep into specific course specific program deep inside the person then enroll himself into master's degree and the master's degree depending on the country you find yourself we have uh, a basically two type of master's degree the one we call the in different countries so the one with thesis and the one without thesis so some people call them a uh, msc masters or ma uh, masters of art and some also call the one with degree or the one with the thesis and field but in some other countries they just say masters with thesis or masters without thesis so, uh, for the master's with thesis, is generally one and a half year to two years, where a person takes the coursework and then deep in research work in area specific. For the uh, master's without thesis, the person will just take a coursework and some assignment to graduate, and it's mostly one year. So, uh, somebody who did masters with thesis actually have high uh, high advantage to be accepted into a phd or to be accepted into doctorate degree more than 
those who did the one year masters, but still this one also is country specific. So when we come to doctorate degree here, doctorate degree is generally three to four years, but it can extend to more than four years. And this doctorate degree also are country specific. In some countries, a student has to take a coursework. After that, he has to uh, pass the comprehensive examination or what some people call the candidacy examination before the person uh, defend his proposals and after that start thesis work and mostly is four years. But when in other countries, in like for example in the Europe and some country in Africa, the person doing the doctorate start directly with thesis, with the thesis and research. So in this particular, uh, those who start with the thesis directly, those people are expected, the university expect you to be a continuum, continuing from your master's in the same area. Because here, there are no coursework generally. It's just like you are continuing, you are starting a thesis work. And in most other countries also with a PhD, for some, it is a part of a project of the lab head or the principal investigator who announced that he needs somebody to come and help or work a study in this area purely with a project. And after that, in his PhD. For most of the four years degree, the person enters it uh, without any uh, such announcement. He comes, he registers, he takes his own courses, and then he finds his own project. So let's move on to the last uh, alternative, which is the professional degrees. Here, professional degrees are degrees that last for between four years or six years or seven years. And these are those students or persons who want to uh, move after their degree directly to their professions. And one typical example of this kind of degree is the medicine, where people take in some countries seven years, in some countries six years, training and after that the person in is doctorate or a doctor of medicine to start practicing and in some countries nursing is regarded as a professional degree where the person will move or study in a nursing school to gain it in some country law is also a professional degree here the person after finishing the degree he need to sit on licensing examination to be certified to practice this uh, uh, profession. So, in this video, we are able to cover the five different academic degree, post-secondary degree, which some depend on the other and some are independent of the other. For example, if somebody did the associate degree, he want to further help his education, he has to go to undergraduate and the master's and the doctorate. For somebody who just want to move to a profession, he can take in some places, they take the, uh, the associate degree and then move directly to the professional degrees. So that's all what I want to share with you. Thank you for your time and attention and See you next time. Bye.